Was anybody left alive? Hallelujah. So David, it says, asks, is there anyone still left in the house of Saul to whom I can show kindness for Jonathan's sake? Hallelujah. Amen. Now there was a servant of Saul's household named Ziba. They called him to appear before David, and the king said to him, Are you Ziba? Your servant, he replied. The king asked, Is there no one still left of the house of Saul to whom I can show God's kindness? Ziba answered the king, There is still a son of Jonathan. He is crippled in both feet. He said, Where is he? The king asked him, the king is David, and asked. Ziba answered, he is, he is at the house of Mekir, the son of Amiel, in Lodabar. So King David had, so King David had him brought to Lodabar, amen, brought from, sorry, Lodabar, from the house of Mekir, the son of Amiel. And when Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, amen, in other words, the son, amen, of Jonathan and the grandson of Saul, came to David, he bowed down to pay him honor. David said, Mephibosheth, hallelujah, your servant, he replied, don't be afraid. David said to him, for I will surely show you kindness for the sake of your father, Jonathan. I will restore you all the land that belonged to your grandfather Saul. And you will always eat at my table. Hallelujah. Mephibosheth bowed down and said, what is your servant? In uh, other words, who am I that you should know this? I'm like a dead dog to myself. My God. Hallelujah. Now, then the king summoned Ziba, saw, Ziba and Saul's servant and said to him, I've given you, given your master's grandson everything that belonged to Saul and his family. I'm going to stop right there. Amen. Hallelujah. As I said, glory to God, this, this story of Mephibosheth, actually, it hit me so much spiritual. Amen. Than it did natural. It tells us, amen. Uh, first of all, amen, the, 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 the friendship of David, amen, David with Saul, amen, how David, amen, and Saul were best friends. I'm not Saul, you know I'm not saying Saul, David and Jonathan, hallelujah, amen, David and Jonathan, amen, was best friends, hallelujah, and uh, Saul was the father of Jonathan, the king, amen, was Saul, that, 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 he liked that David, amen, because David could play music to soothe his heart or his mind, amen. He, he, he liked that David as long as David was doing what he wanted him to do. And that's how it is with some people. As long as, amen, you, you do what they want you to do, then they satisfy. But when you don't do what they want you to do, then they want to rebuke and rebel and act up with you, huh? Amen. Glory to God, amen. But, 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 but David did not seek to come to hurt Saul. Amen. When Saul was going through his worst hours, amen, he would have David to come because David was the musician. Amen. The yes. psalmist. Amen. Hallelujah. And David would play that harp and highly he would play it, the anointing would be on him. Amen. amen. To soothe Saul's heart. Hallelujah. But one day Saul got angry with him because then God took David up a step higher. Amen. And made him a man of war. Hallelujah. He was a warrior. Amen. Begin to fight battles. And, 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 and then, you know, Saul, he didn't like it because he was a king. And one day, amen, David, amen, actually, hallelujah, began to use his men to, to slay tens of thousands. Glory to God. And when the king Saul heard about it, Saul got angry. Right. Amen. And he wanted to have David killed. Uh -huh. and there was a time that David actually would actually be almost to embark on him. And he could have killed him himself. But David, like the humble one he was, he honored his ruler. Yes. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Like many of us today, glory to God, if your ruler uh, actually raised their voice at you to tell you something, amen, the devil in you would raise back up at him. Hallelujah. But if I were you, I would keep the low seat. Hallelujah. The humble seat. Glory to God. It's better to keep that humble seat. Oh, glory to God, than to uh, rebel and revolt against your leaders. Glory to God, Saul, amen, did not have Christ in his life. Matter of fact, the Holy Ghost wasn't even on the scene. He didn't even honor God. Hallelujah. But David did. Amen. And so and it would be one day that even Jonathan knew his daddy was looking for uh, 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 David. Glory to God. Amen. And he went and told his best friend. That's where it comes to tell you. Amen. That a friend loveth uh, at all times. Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Hallelujah. And love at all times. You know who your friends are. Oh, you would come to know who your enemies are. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. You wouldn't know it because they're going to show it. Amen. Some people look at you and they smile, they laugh in your face, and when you turn your back, their face is up, their smile is upside down. Oh yeah. Amen. And they might go behind your back and get on the phone and talk about you like a dog. Yeah. Hallelujah. And say, yeah, they tried to say so and so and so and so. But you know what? I was nice to them, but you might want to keep your little speech because it, 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 it's not worth anything that you were saying. Amen. Hallelujah. Because it wasn't real. Amen. So, amen. For that day that and Jonathan kept being fed. But it became one day that, amen, that Saul, amen, as it was prophesied, that Saul and his son Jonathan would die together. Amen. And actually, that's what happened. They were, went out to war. Amen. And when they went out to war, and the son and daddy died. And in the midst of that, glory to God, uh, the nurse that was keeping uh, 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 Mephibosheth. Glory to God. The nurse that was keeping him, amen, he was a young boy. That one word to say age five, amen. The another word to say he was a baby. Well, what happened was she failed. <laughs> and when she failed, he got crippled. Uh -oh. Amen. In both of his feet. Yeah. Hallelujah. And uh, what happened, amen, the, uh, the story didn't give you all the chronological order of what really happened to him until he got to a certain age because, amen, even in that age, Time and in that frame, somewhere he went, amen, and got a son. Amen? amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And crippled feet didn't have nothing to do with everything else. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He got a son. It was so needful to be. Amen. And so, amen, the next time you hear that about him, amen, David now has fought many, many battles and have won against the enemies, amen, of the Israelites. He has fought, amen, God has helped him to win the battles, amen, hallelujah, and the war against them. My God, and so now he comes back, he begins to think about this. Is there anybody left in King Saul's house that I can help? Amen. And he, uh, uh, Ziba told him, amen, yes, it is Jonathan. I'm sorry, Mephibosheth. Glory to God, it is him. And so now you know what? Amen. He go, he tell him to go find him. And when he found that he was looking for him, this is where, amen, I, I think about so many different aspects of our lives. Amen. This young man was crippled. Amen. And I do believe, amen, because he did get a child, Somewhere in there, he wasn't feeling sorry for himself. Amen. You know, he had a little pimp talk. Yeah, he had a little pimp talk. Y'all ain't talking to me. Hallelujah. Amen. So he can he can have a little rap time with a little sister. Yeah. Hallelujah. The little sister and him received the child. Y'all don't hear me. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all too quiet. Glory to God. Amen. And, 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 and see, I, I think at that time he wasn't feeling that sorry for himself. But amen. His his name. Amen. Mephibosheth, Lord God, means dishonor. Hallelujah. Disgrace. My God. Hallelujah. And, 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 and he began to actually, when he heard that the King David was looking for him, because actually David, in all these wars and fighting and everything, he just knew now that David, the king, which he didn't know. He didn't know David. Amen. Hallelujah. But David knew his daddy. Yeah. And sometimes it ain't what you know. It's who you know. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This young man didn't know 
David was his dad's best friend. So when he heard about him, amen, he actually said, uh, I, I, I'm finna run. I'm out of here. Amen. He caught him in Lodabar. Now, amen, I told you last night about Lodabar. For the new listeners tonight, amen, Lodabar, amen, in the Greek, amen, would mean a, a defamed place. It's a territory, amen, where in like in the city of Miami, we would say, amen, uh, uh, South Beach, which to me is raggedy, amen, but uh, 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 hallelujah, amen, uh, keep his name, amen, is great, hallelujah, Carl Gables is great, amen. Hallelujah, some great places around you, but now, amen, I, I, and I don't want to rain on nobody parade. If you live in Liberty City, amen, you will be the light in Lodabar. Amen. Hallelujah. So, Lodabar was something like Liberty City or the inner city. Yeah. Amen. Where, amen, there's not too much uh, fancy stuff. It's not luxurious. Amen. Luxury is not going on in the inner city. Amen. Yeah. It's a place of poverty. Uh huh. It's a place where, amen, no fame is at. Hallelujah. Yeah. A place where, amen, uh, most people will fear for their lives yeah. because there's so much drugs and, and, and yeah. everything going on in that little yeah. particular town. Y'all don't hear me. Glory to God. And so, um, my favorite chap decided I'm going to hide myself in a load of ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are times when we try to run away, we go into places. Amen. Nobody but people like us will recognize us. Come on now. Hallelujah. Amen. I ain't got no money. You ain't got no money. So, you know, it won't matter. And I won't feel bad around you because, uh huh, we live in the same type of situation. Glory to God. But how many of you know that you can live in a place, uh, but it doesn't mean that your spirit is there? Hallelujah. You can be in a place. Uh, it doesn't mean that you are the one that's uh, uh, not living on a high lifestyle. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So yeah, he hiding out there. Amen. And then uh, when 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 David said, Ziba, go find him. My God, they found him. And, and, and he still will want to run because fear. 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 The fear. Fear of coming and then facing uh, uh, a David. Glory to God, the fear of facing his problem, the, the fear, amen, of facing uh, somebody that you know is a mighty warrior and they're killing folks and they're not letting them live. And I'm in my father's and my grandfather's lineage. Yeah, you may be in your relative's lineage, but it does not mean that God wants you dead. My God, God, amen, is saying, I got a blessing for you that you don't even know of. Hallelujah. I'm going to turn your situation around. I told you last night, amen, to put yourself in position. Position yourself for your blessing. Position yourself for your miracle. Position yourself for your healing. Position yourself for your way out. Glory to God, don't you run and hide. Hallelujah. You don't know what God got waiting on you. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So while you're running and hiding and then thinking the worst of everything, glory to God, God has another plan for you. Glory be to God. Amen. As Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, glory to God that he know the thought of the plan that he has for us. Hallelujah. It's good and it's not evil. It's the prosper us. Glory to God and bring us to an expected end. Hallelujah. So while we thinking in the flesh realm, my God, we so spiritual, but always thinking in the flesh realm. Hallelujah. Everything bad look. My God, my God. A black cat cross your right foot. That's bad look. You stomp your toe on something. You better turn around. My God. Hallelujah. Your left eye blink. Oh, that's bad look. Something bad gonna happen. You better bring yourself out of Lola Bar. My God, and come on and round up with your destiny. Because destiny is waiting on you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This young man was invited to the table. Hallelujah. Of the king. Like right now we are, you are invited to the king. Glory to God to this, this supper on this side to eat from the feast of the Lord. Glory be to God. Come unto him. Oh my God. All you that are labored and heavy laden and he will 
give you rest. Glory to God, but it was requiring to take this yoke upon you. And learn. And that's what people don't want to do. They don't want to take the word of God and really learn of him. His yoke is easy. His word is easy. His burden is light. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So now, my God, he invited to the table. And I'm going to tell you, amen, like many of us. Amen. He said, a, a many are called, but few are chosen. Yes. Hallelujah. He was chosen by David to come yes. to his table. You were chosen by God to come, amen, and to your destiny. Oh, glory be to God. You were chosen by God, hallelujah, to come and be a part of this great coronation before we get to heaven, all right? Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't want somebody to go to Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, 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 I'm going to teach you a little bit. We're going to go ahead and preach. Glory to God. I'm telling you, I feel still feel revival. Hallelujah. If you get it, please, that good reader, please. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. Amen. For by grace, are ye saved through faith? Hallelujah. In that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not of worth, lest any man should boast. By grace, by grace, by grace, you are what? Saved. Y'all ain't even reading the word. Amen. We just read it. Y'all ain't even reading We are saved. By grace, you are saved. saved. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And so what uh, Mephibosheth didn't understand, amen, uh, he was being invited to the table to eat, not just a table, to eat at the king's table. Amen. And God had even more. Even more for him. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Now, grace is what? The unmerited favor of God. Jonathan, uh, I keep saying that, the Femitech, amen, didn't do nothing to earn David's favor. We haven't done anything to earn God's goodness on us. Come on. Hallelujah. Amen. He, it's a gift. When he gives it, he doesn't take it away. That's right. Amen. But you, when we read, amen, that, that Mephibosheth said, you invited me to your table. I'm nothing but a dog. I ain't no good. My God, some of us think, my God, if people do think, you know, I done did so much of bad stuff. I done messed up so bad. God don't want me. I don't know why God would even want to think about my name. He made you. All souls belong to him. He said, but the soul that continue to sin, it shall die. Yeah. Tell your neighbor destiny is waiting on you. Yeah. 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 Will you answer the call? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody need yeah. to answer that. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. It's waiting on you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He had no idea what God was about to do. Amen. Amen. About to restore his life. But I want to go to the spiritual side of this. Yes. Glory to God. Amen. Spiritually, amen, you could have been injured some way or the next. Yes. You might have started out in church. Amen. Started out, amen, doing all good. Oh, glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Everything seemed to be in all right. Yes. Hallelujah. But some kind of way, you got injured. Maybe it was a member in the church. Maybe it wasn't the pastor, amen, that you found out something bad about it and you just, just stopped believing and you stopped going to the house of God. You stopped worshiping. Oh, my God. Even you don't worship at home anymore because you've been damaged. Oh, my God. But how many of y'all know God used damaged goods? Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if y'all sleep, y'all got to wake up. Come on. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh my God. And so what God wants, amen, what he wants for us. There will be a God to, he made the invitation. Amen. All you, amen, that are sick, come. All you that are broke, come. Hallelujah. All of you that are lame, come. You're dumb, come. Hallelujah. Oh, you can't hear. I want you to come. Come on now. Lord, God, eat yes. the bread of life. Lord, God, freely. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, God, I want you to come to my table. I call, amen, for you to come. My God, and the men is still running away. Lord, the men are still running away. Oh, my God, the Lord, amen, say, I got you. And then all I want you to do is trust me and believe me. Hallelujah. Have confidence in me. Uh huh. We found this young man did not have the confidence.
Thank you.